Before we get into trivia, it's time to throw it over to Mikey P with your Rangers Ed 150, the fastest 150 seconds in the National Hockey Podcast. Hey, gentlemen, welcome back to the Rangers Ed 150. We're almost at the All Star break, but we got a quick week of hockey to squeeze in before we get there. First off, in hockey news, Hockey Newfoundland has reinstated the post game handshake after the backlash they received from absolutely everyone. Corey Perry signed a $775,000 one-year deal with the Edmonton Oilers, and Aiden Hill will be back between the pipes after missing six weeks with an undisclosed injury. Out west in the Pacific Division, the Canucks continue to reign supreme atop the division with Vegas and Edmonton finally cracking the top three. LA has lost 10 of their last 12 and fell to fourth place as Cam Talbot appears to be coming down to earth after that early season high he was on. And Seattle finally cooled off as well after losing four straight following an eight-game win streak in December and early January, and they have dropped down to sixth place in the division. Further east in the Central Division, Winnipeg is still on top, despite losing Mark Shifley to a lower body injury on January 11th against Chicago, and they are followed by Colorado and Dallas. Winnipeg did get Kyle Connor back last week, which will hopefully offset Mark Shifley's absence for the time being, and Dallas as well got Jake Ottinger back off of injured reserve after missing over a month with a lower body injury. At this point in the season, Nashville, Nashville is still sticking around in that fourth spot, but it's unlikely we see any of the bottom five teams in this division in anything but a wild card spot come season's end. Officially back east in the Atlantic Division, Boston is still in that number one spot, followed by Florida, Toronto, Detroit, and Tampa. Top five in this division are separated by 12 points, with Tampa and Detroit picking up their pace of play over the last couple weeks, and the Atlantic has subsequently re-emerged as the most competitive division in the NHL. Quick news out of Florida, Alexander Barkov has now missed three straight games for the Panthers with a lower body injury, and Shane Pinto has finally returned from his half-season suspension for sports betting to the Ottawa Senators. Finally, in the Metro Division, the Rangers are still on top, followed by the Flyers, Hurricanes, Islanders, and Capitals. The Islanders, Caps, and Devils have all stumbled a bit lately, dropping five of their last ten apiece, and Pittsburgh continues to wallow away in seventh place with a terrible power play. Devils have got the injury bug pretty badly with Jack Hughes out since January 5th with no hopes of returning before the All-Star break. And despite Palat and Nosek returning to the ice, neither is ready to skate with the team. So don't look to see them in Devils uniforms anytime soon. We have three tilts for the Rangers this week. First off, they're finishing up a West Coast swing in San Jose on Tuesday night, followed by Vegas at home on Friday and away at Ottawa on Saturday. Last three before the All-Star break. So be sure to tune in next week for more updates. Until then, this has been your 150.